Shelly Tench feels like a prisoner in her own apartment. We don't get any sleep. You can't breathe the air. Nothing is safe. She says a homeless camp spread across 20 acres behind the Tullwood Apartments has grown out of control over the past three years. She says they're screaming at all hours of the day and night, fights, vandalism, and smoke from illegal fires. But that's not the worst of it. There's gunfire all the time. All the time. There's a bus stop right outside of our gates, and they harass these kids every morning. Somebody's kid is going to get killed. And then what? Folks here at City Hall say the biggest problem with the camp is that the property owner lives in a foreign country. He hasn't been responding to them. So that leaves the city with no other choice but to go through a long, arduous process to clear it out. It takes as long as it takes, unfortunately. Police say the city will have to take the landowner to court for permission to go on private property. Law enforcement can't just go inside the encampment there and go onto that property and do anything without the, the property owner's express permission. Meantime, police tell us a recent drug bust at the camp took down a major fentanyl deal with 70,000 pills, enough to kill every person in Bellingham. Mayor Seth Fleetwood says the city is looking into more immediate help while this process plays out. More police patrol, working with them to put up fencing, um, come up with a variety of things that we think might be able to help in the nearer term. They're burning something all the time. For now, Shelly has little choice but to keep paying the $1,800 a month in rent because it's the only place she can afford. But at what cost? It is a daily misery. But somebody has to stand up and talk about it. And somebody has to fight for them. And so I've now made it my mission. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.